If you are looking for a replacement of Visio, then this video is for you. Visual storytelling is a need for majority of us. In this video, I'll show you how can you create this type of animated flowchart. Normally, we see this type of flowchart in LinkedIn on a regular basis. In this video, I'll show you how can you create this type of animated flowchart and that too within a couple of minutes only using AI capabilities. If you also want to create complex mind maps like this one, I'll show you in this video. So please stick to the end of the video. I'll show you all those tips and tricks. And I'll also share one additional reward related to this software at the end of this video. So if you follow my mouse, I opened this particular software that is eDraw Max, who are the sponsor of this video. In this video, I'll show you step by step how can you use this incredible software and generate animated flowcharts and complex mind maps like this one. This is the interface you will be able to see once you first time will log in. I'll add the link in the description below. And once you will open that link, you will be able to see this interface. So first of all, a very clear and prominent button that is free download. If you click on it, it will download that software for your operating system. This software is available for all operating systems, be it Windows, Mac OS. And if you are using from your mobile devices, Android, iOS, it's available. On 15th of March, their tablet application also will be released. Now in this video, I will show you how can you use their web application and what are the capabilities are there. Let me show you very quickly. But if you want to use their offline software, you can just click on download and you will be able to follow along. Now let me very quickly show you what are the features are available in this software. So if I click on this particular icon, that is the web app, then it will open in a new tab and this is the interface you will be able to see. If I close this particular pop-up, you can see, first of all, there are multiple different type of charts and graphs are available here. Flow chart, mind map, organization chart, everything you will be able to choose from here and you will be able to start. You can also search for a specific template here. So this is the first part. Second part is that AI generated content. And this is the thing we are going to talk about in this video. I'll show you how can you create an AI generated mind map. I'll also show you how can you create animated flowcharts. And the next option is you will be able to see that there are trending collections. So there are already some created templates are available so that you can check from the template community also. If you scroll down, you will be able to see multiple different feature templates are already available. They have a huge collection of templates. So as per your requirement, you can search for it. In the left pane, you will be able to find multiple different options. The your recent my documents, other things are there and these are self-explanatory. So what I'll do, I'll start with AI mind map. If I click on it, then you can see it's creating the file. Now this is the interface we see. There's a blank canvas in the right pane. There is option that you will be able to type your own prompt. Let me paste one prompt here. Create a detailed mind map for personal productivity strategies. And if I click on this particular button, then it will start generating the mind map for me. Currently, it's showing that it's generating our content. And once this is ready, it will show us. So it took nearly 10 to 12 seconds. And after that, it generated this content. Look at this content. You can see the how detailed it is. If I just remove everything and I only keep productivity here, you can see it automatically adjusted this particular cell. Each and everything is editable here. And once you are clicking on any of the box, you will be also able to select fill color, border, everything. Let me show you a few of the things here. If I again zoom out a bit and then if I press Ctrl A from my keyboard, then all these contents got selected. Here I can click on customize. Once I'll do that, there are multiple different themes are available. Now from here, if you select any of the theme, then entire theme of your mind map will get changed. So there are multiple different options. So if I click on this particular option, then my mind map theme will get changed. And once this is done, you can do multiple other things. Let me show you a few of them very quickly. If I go to this menu and then I go to file and then I go to page setup, then you'll be able to see all these controls. In the background, you'll be able to choose if you are looking for any specific background for this entire mind map. If I click on any of the color, 
you will be able to do it i am just giving you an idea the how you can create it and there are multiple different controls that you can evaluate if i come to this menu then go to file and then i go to export there are multiple different options using which you will be able to export this mind map if i click on powerpoint let me show you one very good option there so this is the dialog box will come you can keep everything as is and also i'll click on export background and then i'll click on export what it will do it will directly create one powerpoint presentation and this is ready now if i double click on it then you will be able to open this particular file in powerpoint and let me show you one very good option there so why am i showing this particular option here so currently powerpoint is opening and i'll click on enable editing now if i zoom it a bit and there if you click you can see this is completely editable so whenever you are going to generate anything you will be able to edit it after your export also so if you are taking it in your powerpoint and there also you will be able to make required changes you can do required adjustments and you will be able to use it so you can see one single prompt we gave on productivity and the way it generated the mind map with all those details this is really really impressive so this is on the mind map so i would request you to try it this incredible option and let me show you the next option that is ai flowchart so if i come back to my browser and then i click on this menu so that i'll be back to my home page here one option is there ai flowchart and this is incredible i'll show you why am i talking about in that way let it load first and after that we'll create one flowchart and i'll show you how can you animate that flowchart so here similar window again came up right and in the right pane this is our ai pane where i'll paste my prompt create a flowchart depicting the it infrastructure setup of a small organization using aws this is my field so that's why i thought of uh, using this particular prompt and if i click on this button then it will start generating that flowchart for us you can see now it is ready what i'll do again i'll press control a from my keyboard now if i come to this right pane and click on this style you'll be able to find one option enable flow animation if i click on it now you can see our animation started and this is our data flow and this was the thing i was talking about now let me make some of the cosmetic changes so it will look better if i now come down here you'll be able to see we enabled the animation now the line thickness if i make it maybe four point then this is become a bit easy if i come to this third option that is theme there you will be able to see multiple different themes if you want in a dark background you can select any of this and it will change there are some predefined themes are already there so if i maybe select this one then my entire diagram will get changed one thing is there if i come to this page setup again and then i click to fit to drawing then one page will be ready which will be based on the size of this flowchart you can edit each and every component of this flowchart and you will be able to export it as per your desired format if you are also looking for any of the inspiration you can come to this home page and you will be able to find multiple different themes if i click on flowchart here you will be able to see all these flowchart options are available here which are already ready made you can just click on it and you can use this template you can see this rich collection available here so you can find anything from here and you will be able to use it right away so this is one incredible software and they have a paid plan available i will add one link in the description below it's an affiliate link if you click on that link and you opt for a paid plan first five subscribers will get additional three months of validity so that's one offer i got from edraw max as a subscriber of this channel you will be able to enjoy this additional feature let me know in the comments below what you liked what you not liked and if you want me to cover any specific feature of edraw max down the line in this channel recently google announced gemini 2.0 using which you can learn any software with ease please check out this video if you want to know more about it